This is a very important day for dairy farmers of America and for the local uh, dairy farmers who will participate in the uh, ownership of, of this plant. Uh, I think it's, it's a historic day and a day that we all feel uh, we, we should celebrate and uh, I'd like to thank you for all for coming out in such numbers to be with us today. This is about a 25 year project. Uh, we think we can be a big dairy state. Uh, and here's what we think we can do with this. And what we need to do is we've got to get one dairy to come here. And if we get one, we'll get 20. If we get 20, we'll get a processing plant. They stayed focused. We have been able to build a dairy industry in the state of Kansas that has been amongst the fastest or the fastest growing dairy industry in America the last few years. It's been either the top or right at or near the top for the last few years. We've seen a number of people come to our state from various states finding a great place to raise cattle and milk them uh, right here. And they're saying, you know, look, this is an excellent place to do animal agriculture, which it is. I don't think the High Plains, if there's a better place in the country, the semi-arid region that's here, the crop base that's underneath it, the forage base. Uh, and today, Kansas is indeed the new dairy frontier. That's what we are as a state. We've been growing, we'll continue to grow. This processing plant is the next step forward on that so that there's a local market uh, for it to uh, be able to dehydrate the milk, keep the water in western Kansas, which we're always struggling and focused on doing as much as we possibly can. We've worked hard as a state to have a competitive regulatory environment and a competitive tax environment. Kansas is a prime location for this plant, and that's why I believe it is being built here. We've heard in the past from dairies interested in Kansas that a limiting factor is the proximity of a milk processing plant. That will no longer be a problem. With this commitment, uh, this building, of uh, this plant by Dairy Farmers of America, nearly a quarter billion dollar investment in this area. We're a big cattle feeding area. Uh, some of the people in Garden City were some of the original cattle feed yard folks. And you remember and you know the story about how they got started and they, it was a big scale and there were questions and there were difficulties but then the next feed yard came and the next one came but it wasn't until the processing plants came that then you had a local market and your price for your cattle went up substantially because you had a local market for it and it really concentrated a lot of the industry then because you were at a competitive advantage compared to other people in the area my hope and prayer is is that happens with the dairy industry as well nobody produces a higher value of agricultural products anywhere in America than the first congressional district of Kansas and that's quite an honor. My name is Janet Dahl and I am proud to serve as mayor of Garden City. We're a community on the rise and we continue to seek opportunities to expand and grow our economy. Projects like these are a long time in the making. Whether you look at it from the perspective of this particular development which began working with local officials a little over a year ago, or for, from the perspective of focusing, targeting the dairy industry, which became a regional economic development focus for over two decades. Between then and now, many municipal, county, and development corporation board members and staff persons have worked diligently to make possible this moment. The celebration of a facility which represents a total investment over $235 million and creates 55 jobs with an average annual salary of $61,000. In addition to the benefits of having this plant in Garden City, we have the ability to use the fully treated and recycled wastewater generated from this facility as a new source of non potable industrial and municipal uses, including irrigation, irrigating city parks and open spaces. This will extend our valuable water resource well into the future for generations to come. My name is Michael Whitty. I'm here representing DFA's management team. And uh, first and foremost, I want to talk about the project to give you a bit of an overview um, and the excitement that our organization has being a part of this community. Uh, today represents a milestone. Uh, over the last several years, we've been partnering uh, with officials across the state, across this region, even with our local membership, on trying to create a vibrant and sustainable dairy industry. This plant that we're building represents us achieving that goal. 
Um, it also represents DFA being in a position to continue to grow and achieve its strategy, which includes trying to provide nutritious dairy products to our customer base, both here at home in the U.S. Um, and abroad across the world. I think as you look at our plant, it's going to be a 214,000 square foot facility. Upon completion, it's going to be able to process 4 million pounds of milk per day, which is equivalent to 80 tanker loads of milk. The variety of products that we're going to be able to produce includes whole milk powder, skim milk powder, non-fat dry milk, and cream. If you look at the facility, this is a great day for us. We are excited to be a part of this community. We are excited to be partnering with our local members and in investing in this plant. Said, my name is Dan Sinistraro, and um, I am proud to be here as a local dairy producer and as a member of Dairy Farmers of America. Uh, we moved our operation to southwest Kansas from California about 20 years ago in hopes of a, a better way of life and uh, greater business opportunities. And today, with this plant, we feel that uh, we're on our way to, uh, to more realizing those, uh, those hopes and dreams. There's going to be 80 tanker loads of milk a day that we processed here, and we we'll, and we'll provide producers with a long-term secure home for our milk, and we are very pleased about that. I'm also excited to be an investor in this plant. This is a unique opportunity between local investors and our co-op, Dairy Farmers of America, and it gives each of us dairymen right here an opportunity to be directly invested in a state-of-the-art milk plant that will produce quality, wholesome product for, for people around the world as well as here in the United States. Yeah,